Boeing Loyal Wingman is a future stealth unmanned aerial vehicle to perform autonomous missions using artificial intelligence. The Royal Australian Air Force plans to buy three drones. One role will be to support manned Royal Australian Air Force aircraft such as the F-35 Lightning, F-18 Super Hornet and E-7A West Air with the purpose of defense and surveillance. The UAV will be designed to act as a loyal wingman that is controlled by a parent aircraft to accomplish tasks such as scouting or absorbing enemy fire if attacked. The Hunter class frigate is a future class of frigates for the Royal Australian Navy to replace the Anjak class frigates. Construction is expected to begin in 2020. In June 2018, the VA Systems was selected by Australia to build 9 units of a modified version of the Type 26 concept vessel. They will have the capability to conduct a variety of missions independently or as a part of a task group with sufficient range and endurance to operate effectively throughout the region. The class will have a 8800-ton full load displacement and will be approximately 150 meters in length. The vessel will be capable of sailing in excess of 27 knots and will have a full complement of 180 crew. The Attack Class Submarine is a future class of submarines for the Royal Australian Navy based on the Shortfin Barbuda Block 1A designed by Naval Group to replace the Collins class submarines. According to the Royal Australian Navy, it will displace 4500 tons, measures 97 meters in length, have a range of 18,000 nautical miles, a speed of greater than 20 knots, an endurance of 80 days and a crew of 60 people. On 26th April 2016, Naval Group was selected by Australia to build 12 attack class submarine. The class will enter service in the early 2030s with the first vessel named HMAS Attack. The Arafura class is a multi purpose small warship class for the Royal Australian Navy currently under construction. The lead vessel HMAS Arafura is planned to enter service in 2021. It will feature state-of-the-art sensors as well as command and communication systems. The offshore patrol vessel will be able to perform maritime patrol, response duties and constabulary missions. The vessels can be customized to perform mine hunting, hydrographic survey, fisheries patrol, disaster relief and unmanned aerial system missions. The AGM-158C LRASM is a stealthy, anti-ship cruise missile. Armed with a penetrator and blast fragmentation warhead, it employs precision routing and guidance day or night in all weather conditions. It will fly towards its target at medium altitude, then drop to low altitude for a sea skimming approach to counter anti-missile defenses. LRASM provides range, survivability, and lethality that no other current system provides. On 7 February 2020, the United States approves the sale of up to 200 LRASMs to Australia. The Northrop Grumman MQ-4C Triton is a US high-altitude long-endurance unmanned aerial vehicle that will be used for maritime patrol and other surveillance roles at long ranges. Triton incorporates robust mission sensor suit, reinforced airframe, increased internal payload, de-icing and lightning protection system which provides unprecedented maritime domain awareness. Supporting missions up to 24 hours, it provides a 360 degree coverage and can fly at a maximum altitude of 60,000 feet with the maximum speed of 357 miles per hour. The Supply Class is a plant class of replenishment oilers of the Royal Australian Navy currently under sea trials, a role that combines the mission of a tanker and a store supply ship. They will be tasked with providing ammunition, fuel, food and other supplies to Royal Australian Navy vessels. 
there will be two ships in the class supply and stalwart the lead ship HMAS supply is planned to enter service with the Royal Australian Navy in 2020 MQ-9B Skygarger is the next generation multi-mission remotely piloted aircraft developed by General Atomics Aeronautical Systems. In November 2019, Australia selected Sky Guardian under Project AO7003. It is built for all-weather performance with lightning protection, damage tolerance airframe, de-icing system, very long endurance, very cost-effective and have a very low footprint. The aircraft can carry 363 kg of payloads in the fuselage and 1814 kg of payloads externally. It can carry out ISR, maritime patrol, border surveillance, and disaster relief missions. The Spike LR2 is an advanced, state of the art 5th generation multi purpose missile. Australia will acquire a Spike LR2 missile system to meet long-range direct fire support mission. Designed to be deployed by infantry, armored vehicles, attack helicopters and naval vessels. It will engage armored targets faster at increased range and with improved accuracy. A Spike LR2 can carry two types of warheads including tandem and multi-purpose blast warheads and deliver unparalleled performance and high lethality for users. In March 2019, the Defence Minister and Minister for Defence Industry in a joint statement announced the procurement of four modified Gulf Stream G550 aircraft for use in electronic warfare missions. The aircraft to be designated MC-55A Peregrine in Australian service are to be modified in the US. Most of the work is being conducted by L3 Technologies. The Peregrine is a new airborne electronic warfare capability that will be integrated into defense joint warfighting networks, providing a critical link between platforms. The Joint Strike Missile is a 5th generation long-range precision-guided standoff missile system. Australia has shown interest in acquiring the GSM to support the long-range strike capabilities of the RAF. The missile system is primarily designed to engage land and naval targets. It can be deployed to conduct anti-surface warfare and naval fire support missions. The Joint Strike Missile incorporates advanced composite materials and employs low signature, thus offering a low radar signature with superior flexibility in target engagement planning. The Norwegian Advanced Surface-to-Air Missile System 2 is a medium-range network-centric air defense system. It is an upgraded version of the Norwegian Advanced Surface-to-Air Missile System. It consists of 12 missile launchers, each one carrying 6 MRM missiles, 8 radars, 1 fire control center, 1 electro-optical camera vehicle, and 1 tactical control cell vehicle. It features network-centric open architecture that provides increased survivability against electronic countermeasures. The missile system can engage 72 targets simultaneously in active and passive modes. The system can be deployed to identify, engage, and destroy aircraft, helicopters, cruise missiles, and UAVs, as well as protect high-value assets and mass population centers against air-to-surface threats. The United States has approved the sale of ground-launched AIM-120C7 advanced medium-range air-to-air missiles and related equipment to Australia. It is expected to provide the innermost layer of air defense for deployed forces against fixed and rotary wing aircraft, unmanned aerial vehicles, and missiles. The combat-proven MRM offers operational flexibility in different scenarios, including air-to-air -air and surface launch programs. It is the baseline weapon for Norwegian Advanced Surface-to-Air Missile System in surface launch role, 